Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh. In this video, we are going to discuss assertion in detail. So, assertion in TestNG. Since we are using TestNG along with Selenium, so you can say assertion in Selenium. This is one of the most important topic throughout your Selenium, and we'll divide this uh, video into three. Uh, you can say important point what is assert different type of assert and how to implement assert in a script so so the first point what is assert assert is simple a class in testng which will help you to val validate certain outcome so let me show you one by one so the f uh, i will create one package and package name i will give assertion demo assertion scripts and I will use this test of test ng now assert will help you to do some assertion in your script and without assertion your automation will not create any meaning or impact so you have to add validation point in your test script so that you can verify certain outcomes take an example i need to verify whether the particular title correct or not whether this error message coming proper or not whether this uh, tooltip box tooltip message is coming proper or not and so many things so whenever you have to do any verification part in selenium using test engine you can do easily using assert okay so uh, this topic mainly uh, deals with the verification part so if i simply type assert and if i press control space so now you need to pay attention i have four assert classes here right so one assert from testng one assert from junit again the same assert from junit one assert from the python libraries so don't get confused since you have dealing with testng you need to take assert from testng only and now if you put dot operator and don't worry about the selenium part let's focus on uh, assert as of now so if you see majorly it simply uh, will ask you two things give me the actual and expected so what it does is simply compare these two if it uh, equals then it will continue your test execution or else it will terminate your program it will fail your test so if you see already they have given possible combination so you can compare boolean byte byte of array character collection array integer and so on so you will get every possible combination so don't worry so let's start with a very basic example i want to compare actual versus expected let's say actual is 12 and expected is 13. so this is my one test so now test ng will simply compare if it is not equal it will fail your test so if you run this See, this has been failed and it simply says expected was 13 but found 12 okay. this is without selenium just to show you how exactly it works so now if you see this error it is not throwing an exception it is throwing assertion error so this is important topic again if interviewer is asking if assertion fail does it throw exception or error so always say assertion error so now right now we are giving both the values hard coded actual and expected but this actual value you have to get from the application okay and expected you will get from your test case so actual versus expected we will see with the help of some examples so as of now it is failing so this generally you can use let's say you need to verify like drop down value contains as count 12 or not or let's say total count of month equal to uh, this value or not so expected is 13 
and actual is 12 state will fail so it will keep failing until both are not equal so this is one variation another variation let's say you can also specify the error message like and this message will only displayed when test fails so let's say i will say uh, drop down count does not match please check with developer so in this particular scenario this message will only display if this test is failing okay so let's run this okay both the test cases are failing so now if you check this console log so the first test is failing expected 13 but found 12 that's fine but if i see second test case now it clearly says drop down count does not match please check with the developer expected was 13 but found 12 so you can see the second one is quite uh, meaningful for me because it gives me the proper message also like which kind of assertion has been failed right so highly recommend if you're using assertion use the third uh, second approach so this kind of assertion called the hard assertion okay so now if you go back to the slide assert is a separate class of test ng which will allow you to compare values in this example i have only covered uh, integer values but you can um, compare any kind of values different type of assert so this is again one interview question we have two kind of assert in uh, test ng one is hard assert and one is the soft assert so the difference between hard and soft assert we will discuss in the next but uh, in this example i will show you what do you mean by hard assert and how to implement assert in script we already discussed so let me show you the code once i will create one more test case and in this test case i will compare hello so you can see hello hello and here i will say words does not match please raise a bug so as we can see both are equal so this test case will not fail and if this uh, does not fail then this will not come this only comes if your test case is failing so let's say if i want to print something test case started test cases failed same thing if i do for this test case 2 started test case 2 failed completed not test case 3 started test case 3 completed so the hard assert means if this particular assert is failing right it will not continue the next statement it will immediately terminate your program from this point of time and it will come out of this test case and in case if you uh, in case if this assertion is passing it will continue with the next statement and it will print this line number 34 as well so hard assert means even if a single assert fails it will terminate your program but the soft assert that we are going to discuss next it will keep continue even though some assertion fails it will keep continue and it will continue your execution final report it will show you fail so it depends on a requirement you can use but let's discuss this assert today so now we have seen two variation one without message one with message and we have one more variation we'll discuss now 
so I'm running three test cases okay so you can see out of three two failed one pass and now if you check test case 2 started and test case 2 have not completed and the reason is after this test case 2 program terminated from here and it's not printing but for 3 it started it has compared and printed this test 3 as well right so this is how assertion works hope this is clear now let me show you one more variation of assertion so I will simply copy this program and paste this is just basic examples how to use in your script we'll discuss in the next videos so I will simply remove the other test not required so now we have assert assert true so you can see assert true and assert true with string message so assert true will pass if and uh, only if it gets true and if you pass assert uh, in assert if you pass false it will fail your test let me show you Okay, so this kind of validation you have to keep in your Selenium script. I will I will just give you one example where you can use this. Let's say you need to fail your test case if particular element is disabled. So I will check if this particular element is disabled, please fail my test. If this element is not visible, fail my test. So we'll get the conditions in like state in true and false and we will keep this kind of assertions. And if you're not able to uh, relate also that's fine I mean because in the next videos we'll discuss but you should know this kind of assertion is present where you can check if this particular condition true then it's uh, it will continue or else it will fail one example I can show you right now but let's run this test first so in this case this will pass and in this case it will fail As expected, test 1 passed, test 2 failed because test 2. So let's say uh, I have a string called uh, mystr and I will say Mokesh Otwani. Okay, and now I will check if my string contains Mukesh then pass my test or else fail my test so definitely it will pass because my string yeah because my string contains Mukesh so it will pass now if I say Sachin definitely it will fail because my string contains Mukesh or Tawani I am checking contains Sachin so if this condition doesn't match this contains will return me false and if assert true will get false it will fail my test so in this particular example both tests will be failed and again a question also comes can we put conditions here uh, message here yes so you can get like uh, you can say uh, names are not matching Okay, both the session has been failed. So if you check on the first one, you can see in the right hand side, names are not matching, expected was true, found false, second also failing. So this is like different kind of variations we have. So we'll discuss this kind of uh, validations very frequently like verifying title, error messages and so on. And this kind of validations we will do when we have to validate the count and other stuff. So this is hard assert okay we have the soft assert as well and I generally use the combination so it depends on the requirement you have to use and 
please drop me an email in case if you have any doubt on the session part and uh, please comment below uh, if you have any feedback and subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please share with your friends as well uh, we'll see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye